Welcome back on this Home and Health Wednesday. Joining us now is Gary and Sheila, both members of the Missouri Coalition of Independent Pharmacies. Thank you both for coming in. All right. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Hi. Gary. Hello. Now, Gary Grove. Yes. You're you're the owner of the pharmacy. Two two locations here in Springfield. Yes, ma'am. All right, and you've been here a long time. Not me, but the family business. Sixty-three years. Sixty-three years. Very very great. Now, Sheila, mm -hmm. you are with Lakeland Pharmacy. Lakeland pharmacy. Now, is that how all this started? Tell us how how this says all started. The Missouri Coalition of Independent. Well, pharmacy. the Missouri Coalition of Independent Pharmacies is just an organization Mike Stewart thought of one day. Um, he decided that independent pharmacies needed to rally together mm -hmm. and see if we could get um, people and in, more involved in why to use an independent pharmacy versus a big box store, a chain pharmacy, or even mail order. So okay. that's how it started. Um, mm -hmm. It was just an idea of his, and so we expanded upon that. We now have 43 pharmacies that are part of the Missouri Coalition. All right, now how many how many pharmacies are in the area? Is everyone involved? Is everyone on Not board? Not everybody's involved. We'd love to have everybody involved, but it's about 50 percent right now. Okay, so this is also a way to to reach out to those folks, absolutely, and, and let them know what's going on and why they need to be part of your organization. Yes, that would be great. Uh, okay, so so let's talk a little bit about why it's a good idea. To to, to buy local and okay. to use the pharmacies that are here. Who wants to speak to that? Gary? Um, I will. Um, well, first of all, the independent pharmacy is going to care more because we value the customer. There aren't 20 or 30 more in line behind. You're not the just first a number. To you them. are not a number. Um, you will also not stand in line at one of the box stores for an hour to pay the same price or more expensive. If you do a price comparison with independent pharmacies, generally they are less expensive mm -hmm. and we all subscribe to the same insurance. So you have the same copay, so it behooves me to see these people in line at the W stores <laughs> that will stand in line for an hour to pay the same $4 copay right. or $10 copay. Is and that a misnomer? Do they feel like because it's a yes. bigger organization that they're going to pay less money? Yes, exactly. and then they go there and they stand in line or they're told you won't, it won't be ready for an hour, go shop. So then they come back and they've spent $100 or $200 on junk, candy, right. mm -hmm. promotions, and they could have gone to an independent gone through the drive up window or come in the store and been out in you know 15 20 minutes and right. had patient counseling and if they have questions then they can come right to you and you're you're willing and helpful absolutely the techs are always there and the pharmacists are right by their side so mm -hmm. anytime there's a consultation or anything needed uh, the pharmacists are able to do that in every independent pharmacy that I've ever been in that's how it works I mean we we want one-on-one -on -one care that's okay. what we're there for so what what are the problems? There are some other problems also with getting a mail order. Sometimes, oh, yes. you know, there's theft and some other things that aren't so... Well, there's a lot of things. I well, mean... Mail order is really bad for um, delivery time, mm -hmm. um, ordering your mail on time because pharmacy patients aren't the best at thinking ahead. Right. So when they need it, so a lot of times, especially elderly, do without their medicine while right. they're waiting for it, and your shipping conditions, and then sometimes confidentiality. Mm -hmm. If a package um, is on somebody else's doorstep, and maybe it might be for some disease state, you would not right. want to share. Sometimes with it's time sensitive, and Absolutely. you have to have it there. Speak to us real quick about uh, drug pricing transparency. Um, drug tri pricing transparency um, is something that we'd like more people to get involved with. Um, for instance, uh, Congressman Billy Long, mm -hmm. if he could support that uh, drug transparency, that would help independent pharmacies. And what it is is, is uh, having the ability to see what all pharmacies are paying, what prices mm -hmm. they're paying. Um, so not only that, but it also would help us um, with what they call the free market systems, where um, instead of us getting paid a small amount of money mm -hmm. and our, our bills are exceeding what we're getting paid, mm -hmm. um, it would help with that as well. So there's a lot of things that congressmen, politicians could really do to help independent pharmacies and support us, such as the free market system, the transparencies. And, and it's not just help us over, it's just an equal playing field. Yeah. 
That's and she true. does say Billy Long, and Billy Long's from Rogersville. I voted in the same um, voting place with him, and I would think that he would want to support Southwest Missouri, right, and not St. Louis and right. the mail order company. So Billy Long, please help the local and help people. Her, help them yeah. out, and it keep, it's great to keep our, our dollars local. Yeah. So. Exactly. All right, you guys, if, if someone wants more information, whether it's other pharmacies or just individuals, where can they go? Do you have a website? Yeah, it's MissouriCIP.com, and we also have a Facebook as well. All right, Sheila. Nice Thank to you see so you. much. Thank Thanks, you. Gary. Thanks for coming. All right. Up next, Joy will uh, join us for a catch up with Larry the Cable Guy, who's going to tell us how he throws home gate parties during football season. Don't go away.